Still counting list items manually with a for loop? Python can do that for you. All right, imagine you're making a playlist and you want to show each song along with its position. First, we create a list called songs that contains three song titles. Now, one way to show each song with its index is by using a manual counter. So first, we define a variable index and set it to zero. Then, we start a for loop to go through each song in the songs list. Inside the loop, we print the current index along with the song. And finally, we increment the index by one after each iteration. When we run this, it works, but it's a bit messy. We're doing too much just to get the position. Now let's simplify it using the enumerate function. So we write for an index comma song in the enumerate function, and then pass the songs list as the parameter, and then we will print both the index and the song. Here, the enumerate function automatically gives us both the index and the item. So the index is the position and the song is the value from the list. When we run this, we get each song printed with its position. No need to manually create or update a counter. Python handles it for us. And if you want the positions to start from 1 instead of 0, just add the start argument and set its value to 1. Now when we run the program, you'll see the position start from 1. Clean, simple, and very Pythonic.